Do you have a Raspberry Pi? And you're just sick and tired of the little micro SD card being so slow. Well, why don't you just upgrade? Upgrade to a NVMe drive. Yeah, that's what this video is about. What you're going to need today is a Raspberry Pi 5. You're also going to need an NVMe drive and an adapter to connect the drive to your Pi. There's many adapters out there. I chose this one because when you put it over the Pi, it only covers half the Pi, which allows the airflow to cool the Pi better. There's many adapters out there that will cover the whole thing, but that's just my thinking. You also need a way to connect the NVMe to your computer so we can program it. So I have an adapter, a USB adapter, and I just have to put the card right in there. Now let's go to our computer and plug it into the USB port. <laughs> now go ahead and plug that USB adapter into available USB port on your PC. For best performance, use a USB 3.0 port or higher. What we need now is Raspberry Pi Imager to format this drive. If you don't have it, open your browser, go to this website, and download. I'm downloading mine for Windows. Once the file is downloaded, open it up and install it. After that, hit finish. Now let's choose our device. I have a Pi 5. Choose our OS. Well, for this video, I think I'm just going to use a 64-bit operating system. Depending on your needs, you might choose something else like RetroPie, but that was another video. Then on here, let's choose our storage. We have to choose the right storage. You won't want to erase your hard drive or anything. My drive is this USB one here. Now that that is all done, let's click on next. Would you like to apply OS customized settings? Oh sure, why not? Warning, all existing data will be erased. This is part of no return. Let's do it. Uh, this part takes a while, so I'm gonna skip to the next part. Let's put things together. Go ahead and grab your Raspberry Pi 5. Grab yourself a screw. Turn the pie over, put the screw in the hole. Now twist the spacer onto the screw. After that, repeat it again with this other hole. Finally, we have just one more hole to do. Depending on your hat, your hat might require four holes. Four holes? That's a lot of holes. Before we get too much further, let's talk about the ribbon cable you're going to plug into your PCI Express slot. Well, we don't want to connect them backwards, so let's show you how you can identify them. When you look at your cable, there's a top side and a bottom side. The top side, you can see the little wires, and the bottom side, you can't. Now look closely at your PCI Express slot on your Pi. Do you see the little wires on it? Well, they have to touch the wires on your ribbon cable. Each wire on your ribbon cable must touch a wire on your PCI Express slot. Got that? Let's move on. So I'm going to grab this ribbon cable here, have the blue side out. It just snaps in there with that little brown piece. After that, I'm going to connect my cable to my MVME adapter. Then I'm going to screw it in. Now to insert the SSD ME drive into the adapter. And don't forget to screw it in. Otherwise, it'll pop out or something. And I keep dropping the screw. Well, that part's hooked up now. Well, now we need a mouse. And a keyboard. And we have to hook up the video to the video out. And of course, we have to plug this into the power. <laughs> Hey, I need a TV or a monitor. Hey, you're watching on one. Give me that back. Uh, give me that. I need that monitor more than you do. Uh, put this on the table here. Now let's connect it to our Pi. <laughs> now let's sit down and get this ready to go. Well, this is the first time I'm booting the Pi here. Let's go next. Country, uh, next. Now I need to have a name, Charles. And I'll put a password in, uh, I just throw something in there. Next. As for the wireless network, I'll select that later. Next. Choose your browser, Chromium. Next. Hmm, now it wants me to enable Raspberry Pi Connect. That will allow other PCs to be able to connect to my Pi. Hmm, do I want it? Well, well, what the heck. You never know. 
Next. Update software? Urgh. Can't I just turn on the dark pie and show you it works? Well, next. No network connection found. Well, duh, because I never stood up the Wi-Fi, you dummy. And finally, setup is complete. Let's restart it. It's going, it's going, it's going, oh, it's done. There, it wouldn't have booted if the drive wasn't working. So obviously, it's working. Um, I guess we can turn it off now. Now what we have to do is we have to put it back into our case. So I'll grab my case here. <laughs> I'll put that on like that. And this steps on like, like... Huh? Huh? Oh, what a bunch of balarkey! It doesn't fit anymore! It's too fat now! So what can I do now? I can go on to Thingiverse and I can 3D print me one! So I printed one, but it kind of fits! That's a bunch of bogus too! You don't like that one? Well, you know, I'm going to go and order me one off the internet! I need a pie case! One that will fit! I want it now! <laughs> so I went on the internet and I finally found me a case that would fit! <laughs> it's by Geekworm! Geek, Geek! Let's have a look! Uh oh! Oh man! Some assembly are required! Well, let's have a look here! I think I'm going to dump out these screws here! Now I'm going to turn the pie over. To make my pie fit into this new case, I'm going to take out those screws that we just put in on our spacers. And then I'm going to add these little spacers here where the screws were. Second screw out. Spacer going in. Third screw coming out. Spacer going in. But this fourth space is going to be a little tricky. There's nothing behind it, so I have to hold this little nut thing on here and screw it in by hand. That looks good. Let's see how it looks in the case here. See if the holes line up. Now just take those screws we pulled out, and we're going to screw them in each hole. Screw those standoffs in that go into our spacers. Let's hope that lid fits on here. And it does! Yeah! Let's screw that in. What you look at that? Isn't she a beauty? Ah, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. What kind of things do you like to do with your pie? Let me know in the comment section below. Below. Until then, we'll see you next video. See you later. Have a good one. Bye.